Once upon a time, a mouse went to visit her grandparents. But when they were about to have tea, Grandma recognized the cheese was out. I will go and buy some cheese, the mouse said. First, Grandma and Grandpa didn't want to allow the mouse to go to the store because it was far away. But then they decided to let the little mouse go, knowing he liked cheese so much. Don't worry at all, I am a grown-up now and I know the way to the store quite well, the brave little mouse said. The grandparents gave him some money to buy the cheese and warned the mouse to take care. The mouse headed towards the store and once it got closer, it smelled the flavour of the cheese. The mouse followed this smell, went into the store, bought the cheese and made its way back home. But on its way, the little mouse started to become unsure because all the paths in the wood looked the same and there were so many trees all around. The mouse walked up and down the woods, but it returned to the same place all the time. After a while, the mouse understood he had lost the way back home, so he started crying. But soon a giraffe approached it and asked, Hey little mouse, why are you crying? I lost the way back to my grandparents' home. I went to the store to buy some cheese, but now I don't know how to get back. The mouse said, crying more and more. But wait, maybe there is a solution. Maybe you can get on my head and take a look around. Up here, I can see all the houses in the woods. Do you think you can recognize the house of your grandparents? The giraffe asked. The mouse was very happy and stopped crying. Yes, sure, the mouse said. The roof of the house my grandparents live in is orange because it is covered by an orange peel, the mouse explained and sat on the giraffe's head which rose above the trees. There it is, the mouse shouted. The giraffe let the mouse get off its head and asked, Now you know where you have to go, right? Yes, it is very close to here. Thank you so much, Mrs. Giraffe. I promise I will help you whenever you need help, the mouse promised. The giraffe laughed. Ha 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 ha! How can you help me? You are so little, the giraffe said. But the mouse said, well, you never know. And it ran back to its grandparents' house. The mouse and its grandparents drank tea and ate cheese. The next morning, while walking home, the mouse met the giraffe again, but this time the giraffe was crying. Hello, Mrs. Giraffe. Why are you crying now? The mouse wondered. Ah, oh, dear mouse, I am so sad. I lost the key to my house and now I can't enter it. I am left outside, the giraffe explained. The giraffe continued crying while the mouse started to think for a solution. Maybe I can help you, the mouse said. How can you help me, you little poppet? The giraffe said desperately. I can help you precisely because I am so little. With my tiny body, I can go anywhere under the leaves, under the tree, and even under stones, while it is difficult for you to do so because you are so tall, the mouse explained. You are right, the giraffe admitted. The mouse didn't wait much longer, but it started immediately looking for the key without any result. Then it asked the giraffe, Where have you been today? At the store. I went there to buy some salad, the giraffe responded. Well, let's go there. The key must be somewhere around the store, the mouse said. On their way to the store, the mouse looked around all the time and it went through the leaves several times trying to find the key to the giraffe's house. After searching quite a long time, the mouse saw a stone lying on the road. It looked down the stone and there it was, the key. I found it! The mouse shouted proudly. The giraffe was happy too, and therefore it hugged the mouse. See, I was able to help you. You thought someone little is not able to help someone tall, the mouse said. I was so wrong, little mouse. Thank you so much, the giraffe said. The mouse went back home, but since then it has become a close and the best friend to the giraffe, which he visits every time he goes to its grandparents.